everybody. How are you? It is I here for Midnight Musings. I'm just going to check on, make sure everything is going well. Um, oh, it looks like it. Probably still a little dark. I'm still working on this lighting, guys. Um, but hi to all the replay people. Um, I am so happy that you take the time out to uh, watch me and uh, listen to my ramblings. Um, I really appreciate that. I really, 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 really do. Really do. I just need to, uh, for some reason, I can't. Um, okay, so um, I'm still trying to figure this all out. And I'm trying to get more light on my face. Um, still seems a little dark. Let me know what you think. Uh, I think maybe I'll just bring a little light to me. See, on my end, it looks really good, but I don't know what it looks like on yours. Um, looks like I got a shadow somewhere. I do not know where that shadow is coming from. Um, but anyway... Um, <laughs> so how is everybody today? I can't even tag anybody. I wanted to tag somebody in my video and it's not working. Um, so let me just, uh, uh, let me just do this. Um, so let me know, how'd you guys like, uh, yesterday? Um, I know it was a little bit different, a little bit different. Um, and I, uh, I hope it wasn't too much for you. Uh, I'm just going to tag somebody. So if you see this on the thing, it's uh, because I put a name in and I can't figure out how to do it any other way. So I just tag somebody. Because um, I need his, he's my, he's, he's my video coach. So, um, yeah. So how are you? It's like, I'm actually kind of on time. <laughs> yeah kind of on time um so i i wanted to talk about a couple of things There's, i've been you know we all have our struggles and challenges and all of that wonderful stuff well not only am i being challenged with this whole like um uh lighting thing you know playing with my new camera and trying to get it all to work I mean it's like if I have one more light it's like it blows me out and you know my skin is so like pasty <laughs> I wouldn't say pasty it's it's just it's like really white and the light just reflects off me so I have a really hard time with this lighting and how do you like the background I changed the background up I put the lighting in the back so um hopefully that helps because I thought yesterday was a little bit dark behind me um but anyway, oh, looks like I've got three people on. Oh, hello, everybody. I do not know who's on. Um, I am uh, still trying to figure out all these little uh, things here. Um, I got my computer here. Um, and I, I just don't know what to do. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's my stuff. Um, but struggles. I want to talk about struggles. When we have things that we have to do. How do we go about them? I am having a really tough time because I am trying to do this little video setup in a tiny little space. I mean, we measured it. And literally the place that I have to fit in is like 48 inches by 56 inches. It's like tiny space. <laughs> um, but it's because everything is, you know, I have a lot of furniture in my office and I have to like, I have to like take stuff out. Um, and so how do I go about that? Well, my husband was talking to me. He's always got really great ideas. He's like this idea guy. Um, and he brought to me like the Zen quote of like the definition of Zen is one thing at a time. Um, <laughs> and like, oh, why do you have to say such prominent things in such little words? <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Um, sometimes I can do it, but, uh, you know, I have a lot to do. I have, uh, you know, I've been getting messages that I need to get more self-organized so I can fully do what I need to do. Um, oh, we have Doors. Hello, Doors. Um, how are you? Um, so I am trying to, uh, you know, 
organize myself. And when he said that one at a time, one thing at a time, I'm like, okay, well, that's really hard for me. I not, that's not something that I'm used to. I'm one of those people that like sabotages themselves by doing too many things at, a, at, um, at the same time. Um, so now, do you, any of you guys have that? I mean, I'm, are you like me? Please tell me I'm not by myself um, because I get myself so just crazy. I mean, I have so many things that I need to do, especially in this tiny little room. Like I'm working in like, you know, 48 by 56 inches, but the room itself is only nine by 11. And the space that I naturally get to work is like maybe four by six. I mean, it's really small small space with lots of stuff. I live in a small house and I have a really hard time finding homes for things and especially with all of the schooling I've done. So I'm like, oh my gosh, how do I do this? And you know, when he said one thing at a time, I was like, okay, well that took a little bit of stress off me because I was really overwhelmed. I was really overwhelmed. Um, Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you, Doris. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm not by myself. Um, and, you know, I may have to do things like one corner at a time or, um, you know, I'll just do clothes one day because my office actually doubles as my, my dressing room because my closet's in this room. And my closet is not an easy closet to get into. It's like a, a long... It's a long walk-in closet, but it's probably only like three feet wide. So you really don't have that much space. And so you have like all the clothes here, and then you have this tiny little space that you walk up and down. Um, and you can't eat, you have to walk sideways. It's that small. So it's really difficult. And of course, because I have so much stuff that has no home, it's hard to get to the door. Um, it, it's just a struggle. It's a struggle. So I have to learn how to do the art of Zen one thing at a time. And you know, there's a couple things that I do. There's, um, actually, uh, one of my coaches, uh, talks about it all the time. If, have you ever heard of the Pomodoro technique? Now I've done this and I've talked about this in videos in the group. Um, the Pomodoro technique is like this really, or Pomodoro method. Um, however you want to say it, <laughs> where you take, you have a timer. I, like I have an app that actually has it and, uh, it's a takeoff off of those little like uh, kitchen timers that look like little tomatoes, hence the Pomodoro. Um, but, uh, it's on that concept where you set the timer on your app for like 25 minutes and you work on one task for 25 minutes without being, without multitasking. And then you get a five, then the, the timer goes off and you get like a five minute break and the five minute break is time. So when the five minute break is over, you get a timer again, and then you have another 25 minute schedule. Now, I mean, I'm sure there's other ways to do it where you can just set your timer for like 20 minutes at a time or a half an hour at a time. My, my app, just simply has 25 and five, 25 and five. So I have to get in the habit of doing that. And I wanted to bring that to you because, you know, maybe that can help you. I mean, if you're like me and I hope you are, cause I don't want to be by myself <laughs> in this struggle. I know Doris is with me. Um, Oh, we got Bobby. Hello, hello, hello. Um, yeah. So I'm going to try this Pomodoro technique and try to do the Zen way by doing one thing at a time and hopefully I can get in my life a little bit more organized. I, that's what I'm hoping. I really am hoping. Um, so, you know, once I get my whole setup <laughs> fixed, I'm just like, oh gosh, it's driving me nuts because I'm like in this tiny little space um, trying to do it. Like you're, you are literally like the camera. And this is like a peek behind the scenes. The camera is literally like a foot in front of my face. <laughs> you were there on my tripod, a foot in front of my face. Um, so 
I really, I'm like in this tiny little space. So like where my hands are and then from me to you, which is like maybe, well, from my head to you is probably like a foot and a half. That's where I sit. <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, yeah, so um, so that's my thing I just wanted to bring to you. That was my musing for today is to learn how to, the art of Zen. Doing one thing at a time. And by utilizing the Pomodoro technique, it doesn't matter what it is, whether you're like me and you have a room that needs to be organized or it's just, just daily tasks. Like you have to you know, straighten up the house or there's yard work or you got to clean the garage or you got to, you know, do something like that. You know, try to do the Pomodoro method, which is just 25 minutes. Multi, do not multitask one thing at a time, take a five minute break and then go to the next thing. Um, and, uh, I'm going to try to do that too. So yeah. So I hope you guys have any thoughts. I mean, give me if you have other techniques that have worked for you, let me know. Pop them in a comment below and let me know because hopefully, you know, we can get this whole thing and maybe we can all kind of work with each other to to help each other out because I have, I'm a big believer that we're here to be of service to others. That's just that's just the plain fact. And whether you're providing a, a paid service or whether you're just being compassionate and just doing charity or whether you're just being generous or were you just holding space for somebody, I think it's, it's really good to kind of come together. And now we have like Facebook and the world is so tiny. I mean, right now we have, oh, we have Christine. Hello, Christine. We have, you know, I have. Okay, Bobby, he is in Long Island. We have Doors, who's in Australia. Christine, I'm not sure where you are, Christine. I think you're, you were in Garrison, I think. Um, but, you know, like, we're here. We have so many people here, like, in this platform, Facebook. And the world is, like, has gone from being so huge to being so tiny. And it gives us the opportunity to lean on each other and to make the connections um, necessary to create this great change. I mean, we have so much that we can accomplish together. And even if it's something like, you know, staying on task, you know, have somebody hold you accountable, you know, help you do one thing at a time, you know, keep you on track. It's like, did you just do one thing at a time or did you try to do 20? You know, stuff like that. I think we can really, I think we can really help each other out. You know, I mean, this is a community. Facebook is a community. It's not just a place where you shout out your grievances on the world. It's a community. And I have learned just lately how incredible it can be when people come together. It's just incredible. Um, so, yeah, those are my musings today. I know they're kind of all over the place. Um, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, that's that's it. That's all I got today. So be of service, help people be accountable, use the Pomodoro teeth, and learn the art of Zen one thing at a time. <laughs> and we can hold each other accountable. Um, so, and, uh, you know, also, as I, I mentioned, I don't know if any of you guys saw in the beginning, but if you like the way I, the, the setting looks, the, the lighting, whatever, just let me know. Do I need to shine more light on my face? Do I, you know, just let me know. You know, I got my coach. She's helping me. But, um, yeah, so feedback would be awesome. And if you like the things that I'm saying, and if you have ideas of what you want me to chat about and muse about, to use the appropriate term, muse about, let me know. There's so many, there's so many things that I love and I'd love to chat about. And if something really touches your heart and you want to get my perspective or you just want to talk about it, um, just let me know. So pop a comment um, down below and uh, and let's let's chat and let's muse together. So um, that is my video for tonight and my musing. And as always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and walk in love and light and. Learn the artisan, one thing at a time. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody. <laughs>